Hey guys, welcome back to part two of our exhaust install on our 66 Bronco. Well, where we left off last time, I showed you guys everything that we've done using Tom's, Tom's Bronco headers and James Duff dual exhaust kit. So what we're doing now is fine tuning the kit to meet my application not again not that there was a problem with their kit i'm just kind of modifying it making it my own rather than just a bolt-up system so where we left off was we need to do our rear pipes we need to shorten them because um, on the last video I showed you that we were really close to the gas tank so what i need to start with is go ahead and get some measurements before i remove them see how far I need to move them back and mark them, then we'll cut them. All right, so I went ahead and put my pipe on there, just kind of see where we're at. My pipe, when it comes out, we're center of the frame rail. It's uh, 24 inches to the top of the pipe, and then I stick my piece on here where it's sagging just a little. So that's 24 inches right there. And I'm kind of trying to get a, an idea where that's going to sit on the body. So that's actually pretty close. And like I told you on the last video, I'm, I really don't want to put these on just yet until I get the body set on it. And we're going to set the body on it here in a few weeks. So for now, I'm just going to leave them loose. I just wanted to get an idea, make sure I'm... I'm all right, and we've got an inch of clearance between the flange of the gas tank, which I think is is pretty good. I've I've seen a lot tighter than that. So I'm gonna remove this and get a get a good measurement of where this this pipe is at. So what I'm going to do is use a level and put it back here on my frame horn and measure to my exhaust pipe. So it's uh, 17 and a quarter inches. So what I want is to get the same on this one and see if we have a similar amount of clearance on the muffler. Right now we're at 16 and a half, so I need to move this pipe back three quarters of an inch. Let's see, at 17 and a quarter on that side. Now we are 17 and a quarter perfectly. So I don't know if you guys remember on the last video, you couldn't even get your hand in here. So now I'm you know, fingers width away from the tank flange here. So I don't want to, if I keep coming back, I'm going to get my, my offset. My pipes are going to get a little close to the tires. And I really want to kind of keep it balanced over the back quarter panel of the Bronco. So, I believe I'm going to call that good. And when I run it a little bit, if I feel like it's a little hot, I can always put a little heat shield here. But I just don't think I'm going to. I'm going to worry about that. We should be fine. So what I want to do now is I'm going to get a sharpie, which I've laid down, and I'm going to mark my center. On the muffler, I'm going to mark around the pipe, and we're going to weld this stuff up. So what I want to do from here is, um, everything looks, does the mufflers look straight to you, Joni? Yes. That's everything, it doesn't look like it's 
wondering. So I marked up here. I want to mark here now. And just in case I move when I take it out. And then I'm going to put a mark all the way around. Alright, so we will remove each side now. We'll clean this paint off. We'll go get them welded up. I'll stick them back in. Actually, what I want to do is I need to pull the gas tank back out and get it out of the way. Because when we get these welded up, we need to um, attach our muffler mounts at the back. But we'll put those on last. So I'm going to get this tank removed. If I can get this out without too much trouble, I'll know I can weld this all up as an assembly. Alright guys, so on this I'm going to use my, uh, my TIG welder. I'm going to TIG it. I've got some 309 stainless rod. It's the same rod I used on my header. So um, it's uh, 309 is usually used for stainless to mild steel, but uh, I just it's what I, I have some mild, but it, it'll rust even quicker than this will. So this is what we're going to use today, and we'll see if I can do a halfway decent bead with this thing. So here's our first weld. Let's see, one, two, two more to go on this one. And then we'll show you what we've got. Okay, the welding took me a little longer <laughs> than we both anticipated yesterday. And by the time I got done getting these things TIG welded, the mosquitoes came out. So Joni said she was done. So we're going to try to get out here and get this thing finished up today. But as you can tell, it is all welded up. So everything is nice and square. And now we want to get our rear mounts installed. Okay, so we need to install the supplied uh, hangers that uh, came with the kit. I trimmed them off. They were, they were pretty long. You could tell they were universal. And basically I needed the last hole and then the L brackets they shipped were were also universal and I've got these cut off to the last hole also so what I want to do is right here under the frame I will mount the mount our first bracket to our tailpipe here and then we'll have this L bracket here that I'm going to drill and tap the frame and we can attach this to it and that will give us a nice mount here at the back and I'll still have plenty of room to slide my tailpipe on. So the bad thing is, is I need to take my exhaust back out again. <laughs> so, but it's all part of it. So what I'm going to do now is when I was under here, when I had the exhaust under here, I held up one of my brackets here and I marked the hole 
my hole is right here. So what I'll do is my both my pipes are symmetrical where they land, so I just marked one side, so all I have to do is come over here to the passenger side and get the same measurement. So I'm going to use 3 8 inch bolts and then I'll use my tap. I need to get some glasses. Alright, now that we have our hole drilled here, I don't have a, a sta some stainless fasteners, so I'm just going to mock it up right now with these. And then I'll make this same hole on the other side, on the passenger side. Drill it 17 and 7 eighths, basically 18 inches from the edge of the frame rail to the center of the hole. So I'll go ahead and get this second one done and then we'll get the exhaust put back in. Okay, so now we have both of our tabs installed. And now I get to go put the exhaust back in again. Alright, so I've got the the pipes reinstalled, so what I want to do now is just kind of pull this up to it and we'll see what we've got. Let's see how close this is to the other one. Two and eight. It's two and eight. Right at four. Alright, I can move with that. Okay, so our mounts were all welded up on both sides. Our exhaust is where it wants to be. Everything's nice and straight. So what I have left is the two kind of mounts I was talking about when we installed this. I want to put a knee brace on both of these. I got to go pick up some material for that. Okay, so we're out here the next day and uh, I went to town and picked up some 8th inch by 1 flat steel. This went to Home Depot. And um, I built this knee brace that I was talking to you about. All right, so basically it's just a piece of flat bar with two holes in it and a heavy spring. I had several of these springs here. And you may ask why. It's because your exhaust system needs to move some. You know, it's going to vibrate with the engine as your engine torques. It's going to move. So I didn't want to connect this hard because, you know, if we have this rubber here on the L bracket. So... Basically just what I want to do is kind of support this end out here so it's, it does, it's not trying to support all the weight on that bushing and it doesn't just bend back here at, the, at the, the 90 here. So what this does is I've got it bent to a point where when you put it in, see right there is it's pulling against the spring and as I tighten this down it'll preload this spring and we'll put some tension into this bracket out here. And it's basically just, this is this might be overkill to some of you guys, but it's kind of the way I do things. So now you can, you can hear the, the tension in the spring, you see it spreading out. So now I know this bracket is supported now. So I did the other one the same way. So my next step will be 
basically is to take all the exhaust back out again. I want to paint and sand basically from about an, an inch back from the weld all the way up to the muffler and get this recoated. I'm going to paint my brackets here. I'll pull these back off and just get some high heat paint on them. I'll do the same thing to the ones that we've mount, we mounted underneath last night. And then we'll do another video putting the heat protectant on it. It's just this, this video is really long. But uh, I'm really happy with the, with the results. We went ahead and mounted the, uh, our transition pieces. We'll let you see what they look like. All right, so as you can see, we've got our, our pipes in. I don't have them locked down yet because, like I told you, I'd rather have the body on it and make sure they're placed exactly where I want it. So uh, appreciate you guys hanging out with us, with us on this long video. And um, just maybe showed you how you can kind of fabricate your own. Even if you buy a kit, you can kind of adjust it and do what you want to. So uh, thanks for watching, and we'll see you guys on the next one. Y'all take care. Bye.